In this video, I'm going to show how to correctly get the titles here over here as uh, in the legend of this chart in LibreOffice Calc, which is a free open source clone. It's very similar to Microsoft Excel, but not quite the same. Uh, let me show what version of LibreOffice I'm using. This is version 7.3.0.3. I'm on a Windows 64-bit computer, Windows 10. And I'm going to show how I generate this type of plot correctly. I found this hard to figure out online. Uh, you can easily generate the plot, and it will give you the uh, columns here instead of the columns A, B, C, etc. in the legend, which is, of course, undesirable. So I'm going to show how to generate this correctly and explain uh, what happens. Okay, let's start from the actual data. So this is the Gallup polling organization uh, website. I wanted to make a plot of the approval ratings over time of President Biden. So what I do here is I want to select the table. What I'm going to do in Firefox, so this is Firefox, and it has some ability to select tables correctly and copy and paste them uh, using the uh, clipboard in Windows and uh, other other. Firefox is on Unix and Macs also. So this is Firefox 98.0.2 for 64-bit Windows. So I'm going to bring the mouse pointer over here. You can see it here. I'm going to click. I'm going to hit Alt, and I'm going... Sorry, I want to only select uh, this, so I'll do it again. Okay, so now I'm getting the table. So I just want the table data, so I don't care that it's from Gallup. I'll put that in by hand later. All right, so I selected the table, and in this case, it's going to do the table copying correctly. So you can do this, copy. So the table is now in the clipboard. And I'm going to show how to do it from scratch. And I'm going to show a uh, problem I had as well as how to do it correctly. So now we have a brand new spreadsheet. And through the wonders of modern technology, it actually copies the table incorrectly. Now, just to give a sense of the problem uh, that you might encounter, you might, uh, for example, select these. And let's just select this data. Okay. And now the way LibreOffice Calculus works is it has a chart wizard, which actually takes some work to figure out how to use. It can do all kinds of different charts. The one I'm interested in is a line chart. And I don't want the connectors between them for now. So it's going to look kind of like this. What I want to see is President Biden's approval ratings, disapproval ratings over time from month to month, uh, going back to his inauguration. So let's go here. I'm not going to fiddle with these. I'm just going to take the default values here. So notice it says this is what it does by default. And the defaults are not ideal. So what happens? Okay, I get this. This is horrible, right? You don't, this isn't what I want to see at all. All right. So I'm going to undo that. Um, I don't actually, I'm going to have to delete the this guy. Okay, I'm going to select it. Actually, let me do this because... Okay, now I'm going to delete it. There we go. So that's kind of tricky. You have to click over here and then click on the chart. Now I've removed the chart. Now I'm going to try to do it correctly in the way that looks good. Okay, and that has the right column names. Okay, so let me just do a couple things to simplify life for now. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to get rid of these because I don't uh, really use them. So I delete that row. Uh, I don't really want this gradation into two years. I just want to see it over all time. So we get rid of that one. And if we go down to here, we have 2021, and so we delete the row. Okay. All right, so that's really the data I want to see. Now what I'm going to do is select all of it, everything. So I'm going to, sorry, here, and then I bring the pointer over here, and I do Shift-Click, and I get all the data. Okay. Now that data is going to be acted on by the chart wizard. Okay, so first of all, we want to go here. We're going to do this. We're going to go to Next. Now... Uh, notice it's interpreting the data series is, and actually here it now selects correctly the first row is a label so that's going to be the label of the plot and the first column as a label okay so this is going to be treated as the label rather than the column um, the column names ABC which are difficult I haven't figured out how to actually change those okay so here we go looking kind of like what I want but not quite so let's check, a, do a couple of things here. I'm going to have a title. So President 
sorry, misspelled president, president Biden approval rating. This is going to be Gallup poll. Okay. The Y axis, we want to realize that this is percent. We know that. So that's good. So there we are. That's nice. And then in addition to that, uh, we have a problem here, which is I actually want to see it starting in 2021 when he's inaugurated, which is over here on the left side and go to the right and the rightmost should be the most recent. And this is data from March 27th, 2022. So what I do is I select within this chart. There are many parts. There's a legend here. There's titles up here. There's graphs here. I want to select the horizontal or X axis. And now there we go. I double clicked on the X axis after it was selected. And there's a lot of things you can manipulate to make the x-axis look different. But the one that starts is scale. You want to reverse direction. Okay. All right. There you are. So now it starts on January of 2021 and moves rightward. It gets more recent. And this is the most recent data. All right. All right. So that's in a nutshell how to correctly generate a, a plot with the names here coming from the first row here correctly. So it's important to select everything, including that row, and edit out any rows that are kind of spurious, which I did. This concludes this video presentation. If you like this video, please click like. Please click subscribe and the notification bell if you would like to receive more content from us. You can avoid internet censorship by subscribing directly to our RSS news feed. Please consider sharing the link by email and on your website or blog, in addition to liking, upvoting, or sharing on increasingly censored, advertising beholden, big company social media. We have encountered such censorship. Mathematical software is developing algorithms and software to automate data analysis reducing the risks of costly errors and increasing the predictive power of the results. You can support our work financially by subscribing on our Patreon page, https colon slash slash www.patreon.com slash mathsoft, or scanning the QR code in the lower right corner.